Do you have high ethical standards? Do you have a sharp eye for details, facts, and figures? Are you someone who's honest and unbiased about your work? If you tick all these boxes, you might want to check out a career as an internal auditor. An internal auditor acts as a watchdog for an organization by performing risk assessments and by objectively reviewing its financial and operating systems. They do this to ensure the organization is running smoothly and to see that it's following regulations and procedures. To help us get a closer look at this precise career, we talked to an internal auditor working in Alberta. Hi, my name is Cynthia. I'm an internal auditor. Internal auditors collect and study data about the way that our organization is operated. They do this in order to understand if there's any deficiencies or if there's any areas that need improvement. An internal audit would be an evaluation of how the business is doing against established targets. And then we use those findings and that accumulates into our audit report. And that's really to provide them more assurance that they haven't missed anything. We report we're... our findings and also our suggestions for improvement to management in a way that they can understand what the opportunity is and what they need to do to fix it. We'll move on to actually doing our field work. A day in the life of an internal auditor really varies depending on where in the internal audit you are. You could be at the planning phase, the execution field work stage, or you could be at the completion stage. Generally, if you're at the planning stage, you're doing a lot of desk work, you're working on brainstorming the risks, you're consulting with the business to see what's going on and what's happened since the last time that you were there. If you're at the execution and field work stage, you're generally out in the field. It could be in an office or anywhere business is happening or where the transactions are occurring. If you're at the completion stage, generally you come back to the office and then your work is accumulating in a report. I'm just going to walk you through what we need to do. So Typical first... hours are generally eight hour days, but depending on your project and your deadlines, you might have the occasional evening or weekend that you have to put in in order to get the job done. Some projects require a lot of meetings and can be very intensive in communicating with your client. Um, other audits are desk audits and they can be done almost completely by yourself. It's Cynthia calling from Internal Audit. How are you today? The way that we conduct work, there's a lot of meetings, and those meetings can happen on the phone, they can be video conference. Frequently, I find myself on my computer, you know, writing reports, doing research, or preparing my questions for an upcoming client meeting. Putting time into the planning is generally where most of my work goes because when the planning gets done right, the rest of the job goes really well. So we have a meeting booked with the client on Tuesday. The skills and knowledge required to be an internal auditor is to operate with a high degree of integrity, ensure all your work is confidential, ensure it's independent and objective, you really need to have a keen curiosity for really understanding the root cause of something and really be able to dig into the details to find out, you know, how is this transaction recorded and really have a base level of understanding about what the process should look like. So my background is I'm a chartered professional accountant, a CPA, and then I had six years in external audit and then decided to try internal audit. I just had a few questions on um, an audit that I'm doing right now. And Internally in an organization, generally somebody would start as a junior internal auditor and move to a senior internal auditor and if they're interested in management, those opportunities are available as well. What attracted me to the internal audit profession was the fact that it looks across the entire business and you're exposed to so many industries, to so many departments, to so many different kinds of processes. I love that. One of the things that I really love about internal audit is that you learn as you go and every day I'm challenged and I'm learning something new about the organization, about the process, so I'm never bored. Being an internal auditor takes creative thinking, attention to detail, and the capacity to work with people at all levels of an organization. Why not run an audit of your own skills and abilities and find out if this is the right line of work for you? While you're at it, Dig into the facts and figures about this occupation, including educational requirements and salary ranges in the occupational profile on the ALICE website, and find out about related occupations, including accountant, systems auditor, and accounting technician. 
explore the possibilities. Go to alice.alberta.ca.